Okay, let's take a little tour uh, in the Wayback Machine and do a short history of the C programming language. C was originally created in the early 70s, along about 1972, by Dennis Ritchie on the Digital Equipment Corp. PDP-11 system. Ritchie wrote most of Unix uh, and the C compiler itself in C, which is kind of interesting. Uh, which came first, the compiler or the language? Well, what came first was a handwritten assembler that Ritchie wrote, which allowed him to create the beginnings of the C compiler so that he could write the rest of the uh, C compiler and the other tools uh, like copy and CP and and a lot of the other commands that we know in Unix and Linux. Most of Unix and Linux are actually written in the C language. Uh, C evolved from languages called BCPL and B, uh, which were from the late 60s and early 70s, and they were both typeless languages. Now C has its own data types like integers and characters and various uh, floating point precision um, variable types. So we'll see how to use those later. But C is a somewhat typed language. The C language is known as a low-level language because it fits more closely with the actual machine itself and the machine's language. But C is not so tightly coupled to the machine that it's not portable. C is very portable. Uh, the C compilers are available from everything uh, from a palm top device to a mainframe. So even though it's a low-level language, uh, it is uh, very available. C is able to perform high-level functions by the addition of libraries. The libraries have been created over time to allow us to do standard input and output. There is a whole standard library defined by the ANSI standard, which says to have a real C compiler available, you must also provide these standard libraries because C by itself is not particularly useful or not particularly a programmable until you get some of these libraries involved. More and more government work being done in C required that there had to be a C standard to get the government contracts. So ANSI created a committee in 1983 that its whole goal was to standardize the C language. Well, they worked on that for quite a while, and the result was finally achieved in 1988, and that resulting ANSI C standard is known as C88. The international community, ISO or OSI, however you want to look at that and what language you want to look at that in, they ratified the ANSI standard, and that became C90. There is little, if almost no, change between C88 and and C90. That is what we will be uh, working with here in all of our declarations and function declarations and uh, type casts and everything else is out of the ANSI C standard or C90. So let's move on and see if we can actually get a compiler working on Windows, get it tested, and get a compiler working on Linux if we so choose. So that's where we're headed next.